Hello everyone. This time uh, we're coming to you from the gardens just outside the park building at the Fintorn Foundation. Those of you that have been here will probably recognize maybe this little knoll that's uh, in front of the park building in the Universal Hall. The message that I'm going to be reading this time comes from Dorothy McLean's uh, Seeds of Inspiration. And it's from the Azalea Deva, which seems so, my location seems appropriate given I have this magnificent uh, early flowering Azalea just behind me. So this is the message from the Azalea Deva. We come in free and wild. Although much cultivated by humans, we retain an apartness that is our nature. We give beautiful blossoms seemingly from bare winter limbs as if proving that God, that with God, all flower in their rightful time and season according to their individual patterns. You feel as though we are very attached to the conditions of our homeland, although you do not know where that actually is. Yes, all of us are. Certain conditions brought us to perfection. We may thrive in other surroundings, but not with the facility we feel in our native land. That is again why wildflowers have a quality and a fittingness not felt necessarily in a cultivated garden. And why, why the wildflowers of a country like Canada, your home for example, where there is no obvious previous human civilization, they are outstanding in their uniqueness. You ask if this deficiency can be overcome. We do not see how it can, completely. Such has not been our experience. On the other hand, perhaps the solution has not been tried on us. It might be that if humans who transplanted us, so to speak, gave us enough love, this would overcome our homesickness and make up for the lack of the perfect conditions. Perhaps you would try this here, all of you, and let us report back to you on it later. This matter of home conditions is a very deep one in our kingdoms and of relative recent origin. Though you know that I, the Deva of Azaleas, am everywhere at once, I am in my full beauty in my native land where the air I breathe, if I breathed, has a certain rarity. But we are most willing to go with the plan and to learn. Already this contact with you has helped because you are asking us and genuinely want to know. It makes for a refreshing change. This experiment promises new things. We will do our part. So to those of you who are gardeners, when you are aware that there are uh, plants in your garden that aren't necessarily of origin in the country that you're living in, you may want to pay, pay special attention or extend to them a special kind of love and gratitude for whatever it is that they are bringing to your garden. They're a long way from home sometimes. Until the next time, bye for now.